Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on these gorgeous little mittens that you see are right here. Now the colour combination to these mittens were chosen by one of our subscribers, the lovely Corrine. Now if you didn't know this um, and you're new to our channel, firstly welcome, but our regulars would know that we actually have a live antics program which we do on our lives at 10 a.m. Saturday mornings and 4 p.m. Uh, Wednesday afternoons, Melbourne, Australia time that is. And what we do is we get one of our subscribers to choose a colour combination for our next project. Now usually it's a little bit secret and I don't tell them about the project until after I've completed. But I've been unwell for four weeks, as you know. <laughs> well, no, not really, three weeks. But it's just taken me that extra time to get this pattern up and running and don't you love it? Um, and I've been a little unwell in that area. So... I'm here now. Corrine, we are getting our lovely mittens. It's taken us like a gazillion years to get it up and running. <laughs> but it's here today and we're doing it today. Now, firstly, let you know, I've done one extra row on this one here. Don't look at that one. I'm going to take that undone. And I explain that towards the end of the tutorial. It has something to do with my long nails, but I ended up taking that off on your pattern the one that you are following today so don't worry about this one i will actually fix let's hide it they didn't see that Shh, they didn't see it right <laughs> so that's got an extra don't you love it that's i'm so naughty that's got an extra <laughs> row there which you won't need yours will look like that and how gorgeous does that sit and guess what guys look 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 no lines no lines. When I first showed you these gloves on our lives, let's try mittens, on our lives, I had a line that went across this way. Or was it this way? I can't remember. I can't remember now because I took it undone. Um, and I thought, let me practice a way that these lines aren't showing. Well, they are, but they're showing right here. You don't see it because it is on the that part of your hand. I don't know what you want to call that part of your hand right there. Hello, who knows that side? <laughs> the side of your hand? But it's all along there and you don't see it. How cool is that? I love this. It took me forever to work it out. But it's worked out. We're here. This is done. This is what you will need. I'm rushing now because this is a very long tutorial. <laughs> you will need some of your 10 ply or Aran weight yarn or a number four overseas. Now I use this one here. This yarn's quite a little bit stretchy than most yarns. So most yarns uh, will be a little bit tighter. So your best bid, if you crochet tightly, I'm using a five millimeter hook today, but if you crochet tightly, use a 5.5 millimeter hook for yours. All right, just a bit of heads up there. But if your yarn is like this and it's really quite a stretchy yarn, and this is, you know, quite a soft, stretchy yarn, um, then you will need your, the same yarn hook, I'm sorry, the same hook, hello, that the yarn actually calls for. Now, this one does call for a, can't find it, where is it, five millimeter hook right there. And that's the one I'm using. Now, ordinarily for this particular yarn, I would use a 4.5 millimeter hook. But I stuck to the five because I wanted that loose fitting because I made this a little bit tight on purpose, yeah, to give it a nice, comfortable, warm look. It's loose up here, right, but around here it's relatively tight, right? And in fact, I did uh, the ribbing section a little different around here. I added an extra row, just heads up there, all right? And you'll see that in the actual pattern. And you'll also see that in the written pattern as well. I'm not going to talk anymore because this tutorial goes for like 100 years and I just want you to get started. Don't forget you need two, maybe three stitch markers. I think you need three. Uh, you'll need your sewing needle, you'll need your scissors and you will need your patience. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching guys. Good luck creating your gorgeous mittens. All right, guys, we're going to start off by making a magic circle or a magic ring or a magic loop, many names for it. Just grab your tail end, pop it in front of your fingers like so yeah now get your working end or wrap it around your fingers forming a letter X if you will yeah Let's bring that up a little pop your hook under your first loop grab that back loop bring it up and through so you've got your one two and you've got two strands here you've got to try and keep them separate but also hold them at the same time all right 
Try to do that a little bit slower for you there. Now we are going to chain two. Now a chain is yarn over your hook, pull a loop through once, yarn over twice. This chain two does not act as anything in the, the next few rounds. All right. So yarn over your hook, pop. It actually doesn't act as anything throughout the whole tutorial. And I'll show you that in a minute. We're going to pop eight half double crochets in the center. Just giving this you know gentle tug but leave yourself enough space in there for you to do your half double crochets yeah so we're going to pop a half double crochet is yarn over your hook in the center around both loops that you see there yeah pull up a loop like so holding everything down nice and notice how i'm tightening it up a little bit and you've got one two three loops on your hook yep yeah? yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook a little bit tricky that first stitch yeah grabbing your stitch marker paper clip thread whatever you want and just pop it through those top two loops of uh, your stitch that you just created not your chain two the stitch that you just created right there all right and there you go now we need to do another seven because that's our first and off we go yarn over our hook in the space Pull a loop through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops, yarn over, third one, in, pull a loop through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and four, five, six, you'll find about now, even before even, that circles too loose you might want to give it a gentle tug not too much and then do seven. Oh, are we up i don't know what we're up to <laughs> hello um uh, one two three four five six seven you need one more <laughs> she's just not awake today guys and eight all right make sure you've got your eight you're not counting your chains you're just counting that first stitch that you're in which is one and you're counting these little loops little v's you see here so one two three four five six seven and eight all right then let me bring that out a bit so you can see what i'm doing here see your little tail just give it a tug and that's where the magic happens and you lose your little space there and i'm just leaving it at the back for now we're going to weave that in later Oh, don't let anybody tell you that's not going to come undone, yeah? You need to weave that in as well, all right? So from here, that stitch marker, stitch right there, you need to pop your hook in that... Hello, let's get a nice close-up. You need to pop your hook in that stitch with your stitch marker in, yeah? Grab your loop, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through to the loop on your hook. And you have closed your circle or your center yeah so chaining one and two once again that doesn't count as anything now for this round you need to put two half double crochets in every stitch but in your first stitch you're only going to put one half double crochet so yarn over your hook and in the same stitch that your chains are in and if you give it a tug you can see it right there you pop your half double crochet in there like so just one in that stitch yeah on the way back we're going to put a second one there but don't worry about it for now pop your stitch marker in the top two loops of that stitch and right in the very next stitch and that's this little v that you see here and if you're not sure just give it a bit of a tug and you can see it you can see the little space there pop your half double crochet in that stitch and that's your two loops like that your v looking thing pull a loop through three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops that's one you're going to do a second one in the same stitch two and two into the next one and two and two into the next one and two my ball of yarns running everywhere here <laughs> all right two into every stitch until you get to the end of the round and off we go i'm not going to pop this part on fast for you so you can see what you're doing 
but I will in the next few rounds so just be weary yeah two into the next right there and two into the next now if you're not sure how many stitches you have that should be your last stitch but if you're not sure just pull up your loop and count your little V's now if you did your math right you should actually you had eight in the beginning you should actually have 16 but for us for now because these chains don't count we would only have 15 because we're going to do our 16th in there in a minute but for now let's just count them and you're counting these V's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen the one that your stitch marker is in these two chains will not count we are now going to put the 16th half double crochet and let me show you that's where your chains are right there see that little space right there where you where you first slip stitch you're going to do a half double crochet in that space so go right into that space and do your half double crochet in there like so it looks a bit awkward kind of looks like it's crossing over but that will stop a gap all right you skip your chains and just slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker pull a loop through pull it through to the loop on your hook no gap all right that's the trick we're going to use for our mittens and i'll explain that to you further into the tutorial all right so that's our second round now every now and then just correct me sometimes i call them rows they're not rows they're rounds because we're working in the round chain one and two all right for this round here it's very much like making a beanie you do um, your normal round and then you put doubles and in your next one it's two one two now don't worry about that because we're going to do it together but in your first stitch we're going to put a half double crochet so yarn over your hook and that's in the same stitch that you are in yeah that your chains are in and pop your half double crochet in there like so there you go Ooh, grab your stitch marker don't let it go flying like I just did. Pop it through those top two loops, yeah? In your next stitch, you're going to put one half double crochet. And in your next stitch, you're putting two half double crochets. One and two. In your next, you're putting one. In your next, you're putting two one and two are you getting the picture the next one is one and your next one is two all right so you are doing one two one two one two one two one when you get to the end of that row I'm going to pop this on fast for you um, we're going to put a, a second one in here because we've got a first one there we'll talk about that in a minute so we've just done our uh, two, I believe. Yes, we have. We've done two in there. So we're going to do one in the next one. And two in your next one. All right. So one and two. And I'm going to pop this on fast for you. And off we go. And I'm on my last one right there. I'm going to pop one in that stitch there. And we're going to count them yet again. If you did your math correct, you should have 24 half double crochets in the round, but only 23 because we still haven't popped that second one in there. So let's count our Vs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And now we're going to put our 24th one in that chain. Well, I'll say that chain, but it's actually those chain. Well, no, it really isn't that chain space. It's not really a space. Okay, it's a space from the slip stitch, yeah? So you're going to pop your yarn over your hook and go right into that slip stitched space there and do a half double crochet like that. And then you slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker, pull a loop through, pull it through to the loop you are in, take out your stitch marker. Chain one and two, hold it there. This is where your pattern is going to change. 
There's going to be a, a two row repeat. I'm sorry, here we go again. A two round repeat. I've done it already. <laughs> a two round repeat. Now you will be increasing only on these sides of your um, mitten. So you'll be doing an increase there somewhere, which I'll talk to you about in a minute, and an increase there. All right. So the first round is the increase. The second round is just a plain half double crochet round. But they are different here. So your first round is the same as what you've been doing all along right here where you've chained your two and you're going to put a half double crochet in the same space as your chain two. In the second round you won't be doing that but we'll talk about that later. So that's your first stitch. Then you are going to put a half double crochet in every stitch for the next 11 stitches. All right so one into the first, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoops, oh, I split that last stitch, don't you love it? <laughs> eleven, here we go. All right. So in your very next stitch, you are putting two half double crochets. So one and two. And now you're doing 11 across again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you've got one more right there. Oh, that's a bit, bit of a weird shadow there. Let's try that. <laughs> one more there, which is eleven. All right, so you've now done eleven this way, two into the twelfth, eleven this way, and you'll be putting one into the next one because you've already got one half double from the beginning of the row. So yarn over your hook. Remember that space right there. Pop your hook in that space. Pull a loop through. Yarn over. Pull through all three loops on your hook and slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker in. Pull a loop through and there you go. Chain one. Whoops. And two. Now, if you wanted to count your stitches now, we have added one on this side. Even though we put two in there, we've added one there, one there. So altogether, we've added two. Now, we had 24 in the round, in our previous round. So you should now have 26. So go ahead and count your stitches. Now, what I want you to do from here, this is the second row repeat. Okay, we've done our first row. This is our second row. Yarn over your hook for the second row repeat. Oh, take out your stitch marker. <laughs> you don't need it there anymore. You need to pop your half double crochet not in the same stitch that you are in like you do in the first row repeat. You're going to go straight into the next stitch. All right, stay focused on that one. So you're popping your hook in there with your half double crochet. All right, that's the stitch you'll be slip stitching to at the end of the row. Round. <laughs> Half double into your next stitch, and guess what? Half double in every stitch, every stitch. No increasing, no anything, and that is all you're doing. Half double all the way around until you get to this stitch right here, not there, right here, and I'll meet you there once you've done, all right? So I'm gonna let you head off on your own, do a half double crochet in every stitch, Get to the end of the row and we'll talk about um, joining and all that once you get there. All right, do your half doubles in your round and I'll meet you there once you're done. All righty guys, here I am at the end of the round. Now just a quick heads up to let you know that doing our mittens this way is covering up all these uh, gaps here. It's literally covering everything up, doubling over on each other, causing it to be a slightly little bit thicker than the average stitch. 
The thing is that this actually can be a little deceiving around here. Right here it can look like it's an extra stitch, but it's actually not. If you straighten that up, those chains are in that stitch. So this is your last stitch. In other words, in this round, the count you should have in this round is exactly the same count that we had in the previous round. So we had 26 stitches in our previous round, so you should have 26 stitches here. So counting it from the Vs, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now your 26th stitch is going to go into the stitch with your chains because remember I said these chains will not count as anything. All right, so this round can be a tad tricky. So yarn over your hook, you're putting your hook in the same space as your chains, that little tiny gap down there. So pop your hook in that space, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and that is your 26th double crochet, half double crochet. <laughs> Come on, Mary, get it right. Slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker, pull your loop through and pull it through to the loop you are in. It's gone over your chains. That's why it doesn't count as anything, to cover up any gaps that you may get here. I'm just going to chain two, one and two. Just to get you started, I'm not going to sit here and let you watch me do the two rounds, but what I want you to do is to repeat these last two rounds, your increase round and your half double round, um, for three more sets or six rounds, if you will. By the time you're finished, you will end up with 32 half double crochets. Once you get to that sixth round, wait for me there and we will talk about what we're going to do next. Now, um, a quick tip to let you know when we did our first round the increase round we increased we counted 11 half double crochets across and we increased on the 12th half double your next round you'll be counting 12 across increasing on your 13th your next round will be a half double the round after that you'll be counting 13 across and you'll be increasing on your 14th and then so on and so on, okay? So just remember to add that extra one after each second round, yeah? I'll write a little bit at the end of this section here so that you can just read the rounds so you know exactly what you need to do, all right? Um, but in the meantime, head off and do those two rounds. Follow what the information is at the end of this section right here. And I will meet you back here at the end of your sixth round, all right? Once you've finished that sixth round, we'll get together and talk about what we're going to do next. Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of round 6, or should I say the end of round 11 from the beginning. Make sure you have 11 rounds from the beginning. If you don't, you are going to be short one round. Now, for now, we are going to chain 1 and 2, and we're going to repeat that very last round you just did. So skipping your little chains there, jumping into your next with a half double crochet, popping your stitch marker in there, like that. And then you are half doubling, if that's a word, <laughs> all the way across this round. And I will meet you here once we're done. I'm just going to pop this on fast for you and off we go. How did you go, guys? I'm on my last half double crochet right there. Now, you should actually have 32 stitches in the round, okay? And let's not forget that half double in that chain, those chains section there, and slip stitch into that stitch marker, but not yet, because we are going to add our red. So grab your red or whatever colour you're using for your colour change, all right? 
you're going to, it's a little bit tricky, but you're going to pop your hook in the stitch with a stitch marker, leave your grey there for a minute, grab your red and pull it through the stitch with your stitch marker and into the stitch you are in. Take out your stitch marker for a moment. What you have is that. It's all loose and bubbly and the rest of it. Grabbing your tail red at the back. This is the tricky part. Pass your grey forward for a minute. You're going to chain one and then pass that grey back over. Okay. And then chain two. All right. From now on, we will not be increasing any more. It'll just be plain half double crochet rows. So not going into that same space, but into your very next stitch, you're going to pop your half double crochet, popping your stitch marker in that stitch there. Now red's going to be a little tricky to see. I'm sorry, guys, but it does look nice. <laughs> and half double in every stitch all the way across the row. Now don't cut your grey because you're going to need that for the next round. I said row, but I meant round. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and let me pop this on fast for you and off we go. guys how'd you go I'm actually on our very last stitch right here there okay now just giving everything a tug at the back now a little bit tricky here but you still need to pop your half double crochet in that space where the chains are so yarn over your hook right into the space with the chains pull a loop through like normal and do your normal half double now you're going to slip stitch into this stitch with our stitch marker, but not with the red. Drop your red. There's your stitch marker stitch. Pop your hook in that stitch. You're holding your red at the back there. Grabbing your grey, popping it over your hook. Pull it through and pull it through to the loop you are in. Just tighten it up a little. You might want to take out your stitch marker while you do this part so it's not too confusing. So, so far you've got your grey sitting there. Now you want to grab your red, passing it forward, chain one. Grab your red again and passing it back. Just making sure everything's nice and tug. Chain two. All right, that's going to stop a whole lot of um, gapping and it's going to make your change of color look better. So yarn over your hook. You are skipping that space that you are in. You're going right into the very next one with your half double crochet. Pop your stitch marker in like so. And there you go. Now it's a little tricky doing the color change, but you can just rewatch this section if you like. We're still going to do two more color changes, one into the red and then one into the gray. All right. So head off on your own, complete this row, get right back here and I'll meet you there once you're done. All righty guys, how did you go? Got one more stitch left here. Pull the loop through. And don't forget to half double into the first stitch. Making sure you're not going over any threads. Just pop it at the back. Like so. And pop your hook. I think I've split the yarn there. But anyway, stitch in the stitch with your stitch marker. Take your stitch marker out. Drop your tail, your grey one. Picking up. Mm, not that one. Picking up your working end of your red. We should have weaved that first red in, shouldn't we? Pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop you are in. Chain, oh hang on, not yet. Grab your tail, the grey, pass it forward. Chain one, pass it back. And then chain two. And once again, into the very next stitch with a half double crochet, popping your stitch marker. Oh, that's not a stitch marker. What's that? It's a sewing needle. <laughs> Hello, she's asleep today, guys. <laughs> pop your stitch marker in there and we're going to pop this on fast and off we go completing this round. I'm crazy. <laughs>
Okay guys, here we go. We're at the end of this round. Last stitch there. Get excited. This is the end of the red. So we're going to be cutting this in a minute, but not yet. Uh, oh, we have to put our half double in our chain space the first there. And then slip stitch with the grey. I keep splitting all this yarn with this stitch marker. I need a bigger stitch marker for this one. Drop your red. Pick up your grey. Pull the loop through. Pull it through to the loop you are in. You don't have to twist any yarns anymore. So just chain one and two. Pop a half double crochet into your next stitch. And pop a stitch marker in there for a minute. And then just lift up your work. And that's what you should have so far. All right. So you've done. Oh, let me show you what you've done. Watch me twist all the yarn up again. You've done that much right there. All right. That is exactly where you are at. Now we're going to get to the section where we're going to do the thumb hole. So what you're going to do first, first thing you're going to do is untangle the yarn in a minute. Though I just made a mess. Just cut that red thread like so. And sticking, let's get rid of the red, just sticking with your green thread. I'm sorry, let's try grey. <laughs> we don't even have any green. <laughs> you like that? There's no green at all here, Mary. <laughs> She's really asleep today. All right, sticking with your grey thread and half double crochet in every stitch across once again. So there's no increasing, all right? So what I want you to do is to complete one half double crochet row and then a second half double crochet row the same way we've been doing where you don't put the extra half double in your first stitch it comes at the end and it pops at the end of the row all right so do two rows in the gray and then meet me back here and we'll talk about the thumb hole all righty guys where you should be is there you should have the two rows of grey complete and you should actually have 32 stitches in the round still. If you've got any more that might be what we did here because I found even with me I ended up around here somewhere I ended up adding an extra stitch so I had to undo my two rows of grey that I completed and then redo them. All right so make sure you have 32 stitches in the round before we go on bring that inside out guess what guys you're going to weave in these ends it's going to be a lot easier for you to do it now would have been easier for you to do this gray one when we were on round four <laughs> but it doesn't matter all right with the gray one real quickly i'm not going to waste too much time with it just to let you know you need to go through all the stitches there but you're going through threads only make sure it's a bit awkward now because you can't see that you can't see that um needle sewing needle from the right side and then just pull it through now don't let anyone tell you that this thread will not come undone in the wash it might this is why we weave it in as well it's not enough that we crocheted over it um, you really need to weave that in all right so just heads up there make sure you check your work I'm not going to because I'm so used to doing it I don't ever usually Oh, it can happen. I can feel it happening now. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't ever usually go through. But what I do is I split the yarn, which is an absolute no-no in crochet. But don't tell anyone. Now, we're going to go back the other way, actually in the same direction we were coming through, but in different stitches, like lift up another. See, I'm in that stitch there, yeah? I'm going to lift up another stitch right next to it and start going through those stitches as well, all right? This can come undone in the wash okay this is why we weave this is why i do a little bit of extra weaving than most people most people don't and if you don't want to entirely up to you i can't say it won't come undone because it might thread your needle and this is what you do with the red being careful with the red that you cannot see it from the um the other side so what i usually do is i clip a little bit of gray not much i split a gray yarn just check the front you can't see that needle and if you can't see the needle you won't be able to see the red and I just pass it through there then I go into some red threads and do exactly the same thing and then once I'm into the red I can split some of the red threads at the back now if you don't want to do this and you have your own way of doing it by all means follow your own way let's have a look at the front can't see the needle fantastic 
and away you go. Now you can do it any way you like. This is just a little tip on my end. If you split threads enough, this is not going to come undone. And it's not enough, you go one way, you've got to go back in the other direction, which is a little awkward. Um, skipping different threads somewhere else, going into different areas, of course, so that you are not undoing the work that you just did. And, oh, I felt a bit thick there. Does that mean the needles come through? No, but it could have. So it's best to check, yeah? Always check that you can't see the red from the other side. It's quite a prominent colour. So if you see it on the other side, I would suggest taking that undone and not continuing. But I'm going back into that direction again one more time. Again, not necessary, but that's just me being finicky and that's the way I am. When it comes to tails, I don't like doing them, but I really am pedantic on doing them. So it doesn't make sense, does it really? But there you go. All right. So now, as you can see, my thread's almost coming undone here. So I'm just going to pull that up a little bit. All right. This is the stitch you are in right there. That's our half double that we're in. What I want you to do is count 11 across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Pop your stitch marker in there. Yep. Then you get a second stitch marker and you count 10 stitches across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whoops, 10. And in the 11th stitch, you are popping your stitch marker in there. Now, if your calculations are correct, starting from your stitch marker, you'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then your 11th one will be your half double in your stitch set. Don't worry about that for now. Just worry about popping your thread on your hook, chaining your two like normal. I only need to do one because there's already a chain there. Skipping the same space that you are in, going into your very next half double and doing half doubles all the way. Oh, we need another stitch marker. Pop another stitch marker there. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, popping, I should get another stitch marker, shouldn't I? But I haven't got one on the table. So popping your half doubles all the way across to your stitch marker. Super easy. All right, right there. And one in your stitch marker. Take out that stitch marker. All right, so what you should have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. Then you're going to chain 10. Now, don't make these chains too tight because you'll be working in both sides of the chains for this thumb area, okay? So chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Yarn over your hook, skip all 10 half doubles and do a half double in the stitch marker stitch, which is a little bit awkward to start off with. Once you get in there, it's okay. Okay, so there's your half double like so. All right, take out your stitch marker. You don't need it there anymore. And half double across. You've done one, two, three. I think it might be a little bit too loose. I'll leave it like that. Four, it's not that bad. Five, if yours is too loose, take it undone. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're thinking, shouldn't it be 11? It should, right in our chains space. And there's your 11th. All right, I hope that made sense. Slip stitch into the first half double that you made and pull the loop through, chain one and two. Now let me show you what you have. This is what you have. So what it's done is it's moved your work over, kind of moved it over to stop you. And this is how I fixed that. For those of you who watch my lives on Saturday morning, 10 a.m. and Wednesday afternoons, 4 p.m., you would have noticed that I had a problem with a massive line running through here. There will be no line. Now, because we kind of moved it over to there, all right? So if you look at it, there would have been a slight line and you couldn't see that much. 
But once it's there, it kind of looks like it's supposed to be there, yeah? But at least it's not right across our work. In fact, I'll show you, um, have I got one here to show you? No, I haven't. I undid that one, sorry. But I had one, and if you watched our live on the weekend, you would have noticed there was a line running right across here. It looked terrible. Now, I've stopped that line by moving everything over. So the line is now on the side right there. Kind of doesn't make sense yet, um, but if you've watched our live, you'll know what I mean. All right? So there you go. That's the easy part. That was the difficult part. No, that was the easy part. I was right the first time. This is the difficult part. It's not completely difficult. You're going to half double crochet across, and then we're going to half double crochet in each one of these chains. But we're only putting our half double crochet in one loop, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's just start. Half double crochet in your next stitch. Remember, we're skipping this because we're not increasing anymore. So half double crochet in there. Pop a stitch marker in that stitch, which I should have done before, but didn't. <laughs> half double all the way across. One. Now that's one, two. If you think about it, that's the first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. Now 11's in that really tight stitch there. All right, pull that through like so. All right, now from here, this is where it gets a little tricky. Just be weary of how your chains are sitting. All right, because we want to go from there, 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 there. We don't want to have it sitting like that. All right, so yarn over your hook you're already in that stitch right into that very next stitch you're going to go through one loop only okay just the one loop right there and pop a half double crochet in that one loop one one into your very next two and your next three just in the one loop because when we do the thumb later we're going to need these loops yeah so what do we say three <laughs> hello wake up Mary four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, right there, whoops, whoops, <laughs> pull that loop through, and now you're going to jump straight into that stitch there. One, two, three, and you know this part, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there should be eleven across, shouldn't there? Correct. You're doing your 11th in the stitch with your chains. And then slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. Pull a loop through. Take your stitch marker out for a minute. Just chain one so you can see what you've done. All right. So what you have done here is that. All right. That. Now, if you find it's like this, you need to take these chains off and do another row. But I think this is perfect, and I still have a little bit of room up the top, and I've got nails as well, so that's telling you that it's perfect for me. But again, if this is really pulling like that, you need to take all of these undone and do another row here, all right? But it should be okay. If it's way over here, and your thumb's right over here, you need to take undone some rows, all right? But it should be okay, all right? So that's what it should look like. Now, this is where, let's pop on the other one, where we need to start decreasing, all right? From here, we're going to start decreasing until we get to there, which is not that 
long. It's only a couple of rows, believe it or not. Uh, one and two. It's actually two rows of decreasing. Now, your decreasing is pretty much the same as what we were doing here with the increase, but we're taking off on both sides. All right. Make sure you started with your chain two. Have you been doing all along? Now here what we're going to do is we're going to skip our stitch like normal, jump into the next which is one. Pop your stitch marker in guys. Don't do a Mary. <laughs> Every tutorial there's doing a Mary. Mostly it consists of not putting our stitch marker in. <laughs> Two, which is very naughty. Three, four. I'm sorry am I going too fast? Five, I do apologize there. Six. Oh, that's split. Let's try that again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just go through your stitches like normal here. Twelve, thirteen. Oops, oh, splitting the yarn. Thirteen. 14 and 15 and 16 we're going to do them together so yarn over your hook now this is the decrease section one in there like normal hold it now a lot of people put the yarn over the hook as well for this you can do that if you like I don't I hold it there and then I jump directly into the next stitch and pull a loop through but we're going to pop our yarn over our hook and pull through all the loops on your hook. Now you've put two of them together and made just one. Then you count 15 across again or 14 across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten eleven twelve thirteen the last two stitches yarn over your hook in the stitch pull a loop through three loops over your hook into your next stitch pull a loop through four loops yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook and once again, you're going to be putting a half double in that space. All right, so a normal half double in your stitch with your chains in it. Yeah. And then slip stitching into your first stitch like so. All right, so let's just do chain one and you can have a look what you've done right there. So that's exactly pretty much and you can start to see already it's bending. And that's the joy of this pattern. And guess what? You're going to do another row except Let's chain another one. So you've got your two chains. Take out your stitch marker, except it'll be in a different section. So yarn over your hook into the next stitch with your normal half double. Pop your stitch marker in like so. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try it again. There you go. That's better. All right. So one, two, three. Oh, I split that yarn, didn't I? Hello. Three. <laughs> Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And this one here, I want you to decrease your 13th and your 14th stitch. Start your stitch, hold it there, jump into your next stitch, four loops, yarn over, pull through all your loops on your hook. Jump into your next one with a one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you're going to do 13 and 14 together in this section here. Like that. Remember how to do it? Yes. And then you half double into the space with your chains. As we've been doing all along. Slip stitch into the top of your stitch with your stitch marker. Just chain one for a minute. We are going to count our stitches. If you did your math correct, you took two off one side, two off the other twice so you've all together taken four off so when we're on 32 we should have 28 stitches across so let's count them we'll start from there all right so we're starting from the chains stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one two three four five six seven eight 28 stitches across is what you should have there. Guess what? Pattern change. Yay. Get excited. Very easy pattern change. You're going to love this. Now, normally, where am I? Oh, I've just pulled my chain undone. Oh, don't do that, guys. Don't pull your chain undone. What? All right. Now, normally we chain two at the end of each row. Nope. We're going to chain one. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, let's have a look at see. One, two, three. Yes, I just had to check my pattern. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is the change. Just chain one only. In the same stitch, you are doing a single crochet. And a single crochet is just popping your hook in the stitch. No yarn overs. Just pop your hook in your stitch. Pull a loop through. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through both loops. Grab your stitch marker and pop it in there like so. Yeah, then you single crochet in your very next stitch. One, two, in actual fact, that's one, two, three, if you think about it, yeah? Four, five, and you're going to count all the way up to 28, six. I'm going to pop this on fast for you, seven, and off we go. Seven and 28 all right from here you are going to slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker like so just chain one for a minute right so what you have so far is that 